Bless me, priest, for I have sinned. This is my first confession, maybe my last. Your last? Yes, perhaps. Very well, my child. Go ahead. <laughs> Where to start? Perhaps it would be prudent to find out what you already know, just so we're on the same page. No, about what? Me? I don't know you, do I? You sure about that? You don't read the newspapers? Don't watch the reports on television? Never go for a scroll online? Which reports specifically? Really, do you need to ask? Have there been any other stories of late? Oh. That's right. Local, national, international. They've been rather hard to miss, even to you, locked in this inverted coffin, listening to your parishioners spill their dirty little secrets whilst you sit in divine judgment. But today you get to hear my confession. And you finally get to judge me in person. Oh, I'm, I'm not sure I can... Shh. It's all right. You're new to this, aren't you? Well, don't fret. I'm only here to talk. Nobody else ever listens, you see. Even those who were paid to do so. I mean, why would they when they can sedate me with their pills? Yes, but... And there's so much I have to say, and it's important. It's life and death. That's your trade, is it not? In a manner of speaking. Good. Then we have something in common. Very well. Okay, right. Um, yes, I'll listen. My child. Don't call me that. Never call me that. All right, my child. I mean... I mean what should I call you? You know. I do? You know what they all call me? Yes, but it's not for me to presume that you really are. Say it. Say it, priest. <sighs> Toy maker. Not going to scream, are you? No, no, I, I won't scream. Tell you what, for the sake of our little chat, you can call me Michael. Keep things simple. Michael? It's a made-up name, of course, but then so is the toy maker. The tabloids spewed that out. Right. Yes. So, my confession. I suppose it would be wise to go back to where it all began. Get the usual clichés out of the way. The traumatic childhood, the abusive family, the years of squalor and degradation. I didn't even have toys back then. They didn't let me. Who didn't, Michael? Your mother? Your, your father? Doesn't matter now, they're gone. As is my stepbrother. He didn't make it out of the cot. So tragic. Did you? I said it doesn't matter. It was a long time ago. I don't want to talk about it. But... Shut up! I don't want to. Never. Just stop it. Hey, Michael. I understand. I didn't get toys either. Not the ones I wanted, anyway. Just... Take your time. Stop telling me what to do. I'm not a baby anymore. I'm big, all right? I'm older now. I'm better. I'm much better. Yes, yes, I can see that. And I know about art. Do you know about art, priest? Uh, well, I've, I've done some amateur dramatics in my time. Do you know why they branded me the toy maker? Pardon? Why? I, I don't know. Yes, you do. You know it as clearly as you know of the invisible man in the clouds who built the universe in one week and foolishly let in the devil. It's not really a secret, given the amount of coverage I've had. 
I'd wager that half the world knows. So go on, tell me, tell me why. The, according to the articles I've read, the victims are presented in such a way that they resemble toys. Correct. And do you recall any specific ones? No. Yes, you do. Michael, this is not conducive to doing... Go on. Okay, the, the first, I believe, was, was referred to as the hobby horse. Not the first, but certainly an early design. I wanted to create something simple. And there's nothing so simple as removing a head and placing it onto a carved wooden pole. It has been done for centuries. Go on, another. The, that teddy bear. Oh, that one was more of a challenge. To find a man of the right shape who lived alone with no close neighbours or acquaintances. I had to subdue him quickly then remove his skin, completely intact, no simple task, I can assure you. Then I had to take care not to tear it as I stuffed in the synthetic fibre. Took a whole night and much of the following day, but I would say that the results were worth it. Any more? No. Come on, we've barely scratched the surface and you're doing so well. The doll's house my most recent and if I may say my greatest creation you disagree an entire family Michael you might think it's strange for a boy to crave such a plaything, but I've always loved the idea of a doll's house an entire little world utterly convincing right down to the last detail and yet truly fake fake. That was another night job. I had to redress the innards of the entire home as well as as my dolls. And then I had to decide where to place them to create the proper effect. Around the dining table seemed like the best idea. A family meal. A last supper. Do you believe everything is fake? That would be my experience. Or is it possible it's just you. Excuse me? Perhaps your own perceptions of the world have blinded you to the reality. Oh, really? Says a woman who worships crosses. Hmm. You don't believe me, do you? You think I'm telling lies. I do. Be careful now. You know what I'm capable of. I'm not sure I am. All I've heard from you so far is extracts from news articles. Nothing more. If you want the gory details, I'll be happy to share them. No, thank you. But I am curious. What would you make from me? What would I? What? It's a straightforward question for a man of your so-called talents. I... Right, well, it's Halloween. I could cut out your brains and poke out your eyes and your tongue. Stick a candle in there. It's hardly original. And since when were jack-o'-lanterns considered toys? I... I'd have to give it some thought. Inspiration doesn't always come fully formed. It has to be developed like a fetus in a womb. But what if there isn't time? Sometimes opportunities present themselves and you have to go with them. That's what it's all about. What? Art. So you do consider me an artist? No. I consider you a fake. You're really treading on very thin ice. So kill me. Go on. Go ahead. You could get away with it if you really wanted to. The church is empty. The door's secure. You have more than enough time to create something. Beautiful. So go on, Michael. Prove it is you. Prove it, toy maker. 
prove it. <laughs> I really had to go in there, didn't I? You actually thought I was a psycho, the psycho. <laughs> no. Sure you did. You were terrified. I'm afraid not. And I don't understand what would compel anyone to pretend such a thing. Just a joke, all right? A dare. Jamie reckoned that Vickers are gullible, believing in all that Bible stuff. But fair enough, you've proved you aren't, so well done. <laughs> You're a liar. I admit it, I've broke the whatever commandment it is, I confess. It was in very poor taste, Michael, given the circumstances. Yeah, I know, but how else would I have gotten your attention? I had to come on strong. I didn't mean to diss the dead or anything. I'm referring to the fact that you claim the credit for someone else's work. Well, won't happen again, all right? I'll see myself out. Hey, what? The, the, the door's stuck. They're not simply toys, you know. The, the door is it's not moving. They say toy maker, but there's so much more to it than that. There's statements, snapshots, frames from a stolen childhood. Hey, I'm, I'm stuck. <laughs> and they always go on about the same ones, the hobby horse, the bear, the doll's house. And yet there have been so many others. Come on, this is... And by the way, the doll's house, it wasn't the most recent. That would be the priest, but no longer a priest. Do you remember those small tin soldiers with the red coats and the tall bearskin hats? All it took was a drop of paint and a few dabs of glue. He's in the vestry right now, standing to attention. If you're interested. Oh, yeah, very funny. Can you open the door now? Please open it. But Michael, you can't leave. I haven't forgiven you yet. Please. And this is your last confession, remember? I'm sorry, all right? I'm sorry. Just let me out, OK? Go on, let me out. Oh, God. <laughs> you're not going to scream, are you? Let me out! Let me out!